Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 821. The category is World War II. Now, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get a full 21 questions out of World War II, and I was way wrong. I could probably do about 10 trivia quizzes on this category. I didn't even know where to start, so these are all over the place. There are a lot of code name and battle questions, so keep that in mind as you play this quiz. Good luck. Question number one. What was the name of the B-29 Super Fortress bomber piloted by Lieutenant Colonel Paul Warfield Tibbetts Jr.? That was the plane that dropped the first atomic bomb on Hiroshima on August 6th, 1945. The name of the plane was the Enola Gay. Question number two. The Normandy coast was divided up into five sections and each given a code name to be used by the allies for the attack. Gold, Juno, and Sword were three of the beaches. What were the names of the other two? Gold, Juno, Sword, Utah, in Omaha. Question number three. Formed from an empty munitions factory in March of 1933 and originally used as a camp for political prisoners, what was the name of the first Nazi concentration camp that remained active for around 12 years? The first one was Dachau. Question number four. Playing a pivotal role in cracking intercepted coded messages that enabled the Allies to defeat the Nazis in many crucial engagements, what was the name of the English codebreaker that created a machine to help decrypt Nazi messages? His name is Alan Turing. Question number five. Surrendering to the Allied forces on September 8th of 1943, which country became the first Axis partner to give up the fight during World War II? The first one to surrender was Italy. Question number six. Representing about two thirds of the total number of Jews who had resided in Europe at that time, from 1941 to 1945, Adolf Hitler's Nazi Germany systematically murdered about how many million Jewish people? Just looking for the closest to the millionth. The answer is six million. Question number seven. Launched on June 6, 1944 with a 1200 plane airborne assault, preceded by an amphibious assault involving more than 5,000 vessels and nearly 160,000 troops crossing the English Channel, what was the code name for the Battle of Normandy? That was called Operation Overlord. Question number eight. After World War II began in 1939, the Nazis forced all known Jews to wear what on their clothing at all times so that they could easily be recognized and targeted. The 
they were all forced to wear the Star of David, specifically a yellow Star of David. Question number nine. Because it happened without a declaration of war and without explicit warning, the attack on Pearl Harbor led what man to publicly proclaim December 7th, 1941 as a date which will live in infamy? That man was Franklin D. Roosevelt. Question number 10. Although the operation was never formally canceled, there were several postponements that resulted in it never succeeding. What was the code name of Hitler's plan for an invasion and occupation of the United Kingdom during the Battle of Britain? The answer is Operation Sea Lion. Question number 11. Under him, the Soviet Union was transformed from a peasant society into an industrial and military superpower. Who was the dictator of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, or the USSR, from 1929 to 1953? His name was Joseph Stalin. Question number 12. On April 1st, 1945, Easter Sunday, the U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet and more than 180,000 U.S. Army and U.S. Marine Corps troops took part in what battle? That was the last major battle of World War II and one of the bloodiest. The last major battle of WW2 was the Battle of Okinawa. Question number 13. One of the bloodiest campaigns in human history, what was the name of the battle in southern Russia that both marked a turning point in the struggle to liberate the Soviet Union and also contributed to the eventual defeat of a weakened Nazi Germany in 1945? There's probably a couple that fit that description, but the big one was the Battle of Stalingrad. Question number 14. Which U.S. president, born October 14, 1890, became a five-star general in the army during World War II and also held the title of Supreme Allied Commander of the Allied Expeditionary Force? That five-star general was Dwight D. Eisenhower. Question 15. The Dunkirk evacuation, also known as the Miracle of Dunkirk, was the evacuation of Allied soldiers from the beaches and harbor of Dunkirk, France, between May 26th and June 4th of 1940. What code name was this operation given? The answer is Operation Dynamo. Question number 16. For an overabundance of caution, where were the Declaration of Independence, the U.S. Constitution, and the Bill of Rights locked away and stored during World War II? During the war, they hid those in Fort Knox. Question number 17. With one goal in mind, to develop a super weapon that would help the U.S. secure victory over the Axis powers during World War II, 
what was the code name of the research and development undertaking that produced the first nuclear weapons? That project was called the Manhattan Project. Question 18. World War II was the deadliest military conflict in history. An estimated total of 70 to 85 million people perished, or about 3% of Earth's population. Which country suffered the highest number of casualties? The answer is the Soviet Union. Question number 19. What is the name of both the state that President Harry Truman was born in and the name of the ship where Japan formerly surrendered to the Allies on September 2nd, 1945, bringing an end to World War II? The answer is the Missouri, or Missouri the state and the USS Missouri the boat. Question number 20. In order to bring World War II to a quick end, two atomic bombs with what code names were dropped on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? What were the code names of those two bombs? The answer is Little Boy and Fat Man. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. The category today was requested. I can't believe we've done like the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. I know those are American wars. Uh, I can't believe in two and a half years I haven't done World War II, but like I said, once I started looking stuff up today, I could have done, man, 10 quizzes. I could have done an American-based quiz, a UK-based quiz, uh, a Russian-based quiz, Japan. But, you know, like, from all the different angles of the war, there were so many different... I could have just done a code names of World War II trivia quiz, but I tried to do a little bit of everything to make this one a pretty general all-around trivia quiz. I may go more specific later as we get closer to 1001, but I was glad to get this one done, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too hard or too easy. You know how I like them right there in the middle where you're getting between 10 and 15 correct. That means you're doing pretty good, but you're learning something at the same time. I love seeing the comments that say you enjoyed the quiz, and I hate seeing the comments where you say you got 20 out of 20, because then you just, you already know everything. I like it when you, there's a few that you don't know, but then after the quiz, you've learned something. That's the whole point. Well, having fun and learning something. So hopefully you learned something today. If not, we'll just try again tomorrow on Friday Night Pub Quiz. Thank you for watching. Here's question 21 the tiebreaker for World War II trivia. Winston Churchill was Prime Minister at the end of World War II, but who was the UK's Prime Minister at the start of it? The answer is Neville Chamberlain. Alright, thank you for watching tomorrow's Friday Night Pub Quiz, everybody's favorite pub quiz. In fact, I, I don't finish my thoughts all the time, but let me finish this one. In fact, last Friday Night's Pub Quiz is still the most popular pub quiz, or is still the most popular trivia quiz that I've had all week. Like, 
even the trivia quizzes that I did yesterday and the day before last Friday's pub quiz is still getting more views per day than those are. So those Friday pub quizzes are really keeping the channel growing and I love it. I Obviously you guys love it. That's why it keeps getting watched and keep getting liked. So I will keep them coming. Seems like Friday night pub quiz and the who am I, where am I trivia quizzes are the most popular. So expect more of those in the months to come. See you tomorrow.